Hello, I'm Miss Susan from the Cape May County Library Children's Department, and this is a book recommendations video. All the books I'm recommending today are books we recently received in the Children's Department. The first book I'm recommending is a juvenile nonfiction book. It's called Insects by the Numbers, and it's a book of infographics. It's part of the By the Numbers series, and it's written by Steve Jenkins. And in this book, um, students will learn about scientific facts and concepts on insects and bugs. Um, it's really easy to read. There's lots of labeling and diagrams. I think if your child's into bugs or science, this would be a great read for them. It's for, eight, uh, for grades one through four. My next book is called Danny Constantino's First and Maybe Last Date, written by Paul Acampora. And in this book, this is a middle grade um, fiction story. Um, we meet, uh, in this book, we meet Danny and um, his childhood um, friend who became a famous actress. And um, Danny decides that he's going to invite his childhood friend to um, the Halloween parade and dance. And surprisingly, she says yes, and she makes a trip back home to her hometown. Unfortunately, um, when she arrives, there's tons of groupies and um, all the townspeople are going kind of crazy and Danny's really having a tough time of trying to have a first date. Um, this is a really laugh out loud, funny and charming story of first love and it's for grades four through seven. It's really a, a fun read. My next book is a children's middle grade sports book. It's called Triple Threat by Mike Lupica. Uh, Mike Lupica has written uh, many middle grade sports uh, books. And in this particular story, he explores gender in the inequality um, in football. This is a story of a young girl, a 12 year old girl named Alex and um, she, she joins her middle school boys football team. And she really has a tough time of it. Um, a lot of the boys on the uh, middle school football team aren't very good to her and really make her work hard to try to um, help for them to see that she actually has talent. Um, Alex, though, she's, she loves football. She's a dedicated Steelers fan. She and her father never miss a Steelers game and she knows she's um, got a lot of talent. So this is kind of a neat story um, written for grades, you know, like around five, six, seven, um, and on hard work and determination and making a team despite the fact that others haven't done so before. And so it's a neat um, book. My next book is called I Am the Storm. And this is a children's picture book. And it's written by Jane Yolen and her daughter, Heidi E. Y. Stemple, illustrated by Kristen and Kevin um, Howshell. And in this story, um, the um, authors write about, you know, yes, nature has a lot of powerful storms, but humans are, are very powerful too, and they're very resilient. And they always rise above when the storm passes and all the storms always pass. There's always calm after the storms. So um, this is a, a disaster book for children. It's for preschool through maybe kindergarten, first grade. And this really helps children sort of learn that it's okay when storms come, they're gonna go and we're gonna be fine. Um, there's rep some repetitive, repetitive, um, repetitive phrasing and, and kind of um, repetition um, with concepts as each storm comes and goes in the book. It's really a nice picture book. My final book that I'm recommending is called Maurice and His Dictionary, A True Story, and it's by Carrie Fagan. And um, this is a, um, a juvenile biography graphic novel. So it's a children's graphic or children's biography, but it's also in a graphic novel format. So that's kind of kind of neat. See, it's told through a graphic format novel. There you go. And this is a true story of the author's own family history during World War II. This Jewish boy and his family, um, they end up fleeing from um, 
their home and traveling uh, across um, the ocean, Atlantic Ocean. They finally make their way to Jamaica and are in a, an internment camp there in Jamaica. And they go through a lot to try to get, um, you know, earn their freedom. And during that time, this boy um, has this dictionary that he starts and has this English dictionary that he starts and, and adds to throughout the journey. So um, this dictionary kind of becomes a, a beloved tool and a beacon of hope as he struggles. Um, it's a story of a family's uh, resilience and the dictionary that comes to represent freedom to the family. And this is for grades um, three through six, um, this children's juvenile um, graphic novel or biography. Um, so those are the books I'm recommending today. I hope you get a chance to read one or two of them, and we'll see you next time. Bye.